I'm Bob Dr. Mac Levitis, and this is Working Smarter Quick Tips. In my very first book, Dr. Macintosh, way back in 1989, I described the Mac clipboard like this. The clipboard is a special area of RAM set aside to hold text or graphics you cut or copy. The clipboard can contain only one selection at a time, the last thing you cut or copied. When you use the paste command, the current contents of the clipboard will be pasted. Because the clipboard is held in RAM, shutting down, restarting, or crashing causes the loss of its contents. Now while almost everything else about our Macs uh, has gotten better, faster, and more elegant in the, say, three decades since I wrote those words, the clipboard is still the same, and that description is still, sadly, 100% accurate. And that's true. Three decades later, the clipboard still only holds one item at a time, and still is volatile. The contents disappear if you crash, restart, or shut down. Now there's no technical reason, not one technical reason I can think of, that your clipboard should be limited to one item at a time. And that's why I've used third-party utilities to remember the last, say, 100 items or more that I've uh, cut or copied for as long as I can remember, since time immemorial maybe for three decades. Such utilities also preserve the contents of not just the one clipboard Apple lets you have, but of all your clipboards if you crash, restart, or shut down. Okay, furthermore, there's no shortage of these utilities around. If you search the Mac App Store for clipboard history, you're going to find myriad, and I mean myriad, free and really inexpensive apps that offer different flavors of clipboard history. Now, I haven't tried them all, but I have tried more than a few. I have to say, I've yet to find one that's worse than the under, underpowered, uh, single item, crashy, you know, clipboard that, that uh, disappears when you crash or shut down. All right, so here are my recommendations. Ready? Number one, my current free uh, recommendation is Copy Clip. Um, it's from FIPLAB, and it's free in the Mac App Store. It, it's just a bare-bones clipboard history utility, but it'll give you the chance to sample the joy of clipboard history at no cost and no risk. All right, so if you like that, uh, if you like the free version of CopyClip, you're going to love the, its more powerful sibling, which is CopyClip 2, $7.99 in the Mac App Store. And this one adds really good features if you like clipboard history, like search, keyboard shortcuts, and editable clippings. And by the way, several of my favorite multifunction utilities have clipboard history. So uh, Keyboard Maestro, Alfred, Launch Bar, to name a few, um, are utilities that include keyboard history. If you're using them or you're thinking you might want keyboard history, check them out because uh, they're more expensive than Copy Clip 2, but they do a lot more and they're all things that I recommend highly. I'm just saying. All right, finally, last thing, one last thing. If you do adopt one of these clipboard history utilities, I want you to be sure that you get in the habit of cutting or copying rather than deleting. That way, that item is preserved in your clipboard history rather than being blown away forever. 